Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Well, today I'm in a rather shitty mood. Uh, recently, I've been watching YouTube videos, got myself a Netflix, not been doing very much. I've been taking it easy first month of the year. But then I heard about something that happened. And I've got a little angry. Hey, Doug Walker here. Uh, we're doing a video addressing why our videos have only been 15 minutes here on YouTube. And as some of you might have noticed, if you're keeping an eye on YouTube recently, uh, a lot of YouTubers, some very well known, some not so well known, have suddenly either been having their channels deleted or they've been having their monetization taken away. That means that they can't get paid for the videos that they're putting up. And a lot of them are saying that they're not getting answers why this just happened out of nowhere and it's a big question mark and YouTube has given them no answers. And you might be thinking at home, oh, that's... Come on, YouTube, that's a big organization. Clearly, they must have done something wrong. Uh, but speaking as people who have been hit by this as well, they are not lying. This is a real thing. Why would they feel that they need to lie, Doug? Really, why? And we don't usually go into behind-the-scenes business stuff, because uh, we fear it's not professional, it's not a good thing to do, but this kind of affects you too, so that's one of the reasons we're talking about this. Really, Doug? How does it affect someone filming themselves doing vlogs? Or reaction video. Well, reaction videos you can get uh, in trouble with. But how does it affect somebody posting a pic uh, video of their cat? Really, how? On January 5th at 8.57 p.m., we got an email from YouTube saying that monetization and other account features have been disabled. Two hours later, we were finally able to get into our account to see what apparently affected us. And we found out that we had a strike from Studio Ghibli, the Japanese company, not the American Disney part of it, J Japan, against My Neighbor Totoro, the Disney December review of My Neighbor Totoro, which is completely in fair use. Which Hello, I'm going to give everybody a little bit of fair warning. I'm going to be screaming in a few seconds. It's not fair use if you use six minutes, three seconds of the fucking movie. I don't care if it's muted. It's movie clips. Literally the entire six, minute, six minutes cut up into small bits of the movie. People have been doing things like you... Uh, different things like yours for a long fucking time. I've done something similar to yours with my Chuck trailers. I haven't got a copyright notice because I wasn't stupid enough to think that I could get away with that. I never put monetization on my Chuck videos. I never wanted to. I never think it was needed. And if the people who gave me Chuck, NBC, Universal, said, we want monetization. Fine. Fine. I did the editing. You get the money. Fine by me. You deserve the money. Because, for one simple reason, you made the content I fiddled with. Now, did Doug Walker make a single frame of a Miyazaki film Fuck no! Does he deserve a single penny from reviewing that film by basically showing six minutes of it and basically saying, yeah, this film's good? No. That is not a review of a fucking film. That's just taking the fucking piss. Literally, it's taking the piss. What I do with my reviews of my films i've done film reviews i basically stream them with my friend i basically say we've watched the movie recently and this is what we think about the movie that's what we're gonna say we're not gonna say to you well fuck the movie here's the best bits well no fuck that that's not fair that's not ethically fair you dickless little shit 
by the way, you can see on three separate other YouTube channels right now, they haven't gotten hit. Now you might be- How the fuck do you know they haven't gotten hit? How? I saw one of those three YouTube channels. Each of those videos has monetization on those videos. But, and here's the big but, the rest of the YouTube channel doesn't. They're unmonetized. Now, what does that mean? Hmm. Content ID claim, you prat. God, how do you even know if it's been content ID flagged or copyright claimed? Honestly, how do you know? Pratt. You're thinking, oh, that must be the reason. Well, we've gotten strikes before in the past on League of Super Critics. We've gotten two. Really? You've gotten two strikes? Hmm. Hmm. They still count against your channel, even if you got them sorted out, you moron! Oh, God! Even if they're sorted out, there's still two copyright strikes against your channel. And as your channel is basically showing 98% movie footage with you yammering over it, I wouldn't be the one to really say these aren't undeserved. Ugh. And we have never lost these features before. When you get one strike, your videos are limited down to 15 minutes, which is what's going on now, but not these other features. So as of now, with just one strike, the only features we can use is thumbnails, we can make custom thumbnails, and the wonderful YouTube editor. Which I'm sure you all know how fantastic that is. So you might so, yes, you've had two strikes, and this is the first time you've actually had things taken off your account. Uh, no fucking shit. Really, no shit. I... Are you fucking surprised? Honestly, are you surprised by this? Because... I'm not. You've probably still got those bloody videos up, you idiot. And if they're still up, they're still classed as something that you should be worried about. Uh, also, that YouTube editing joke, if you don't make YouTube videos, it's not funny. Wow, you moron be thinking maybe they changed the rules on strikes. Well, if they did, they never told anybody about it. So we went to YouTube's partner support and we said, what's going on here? Why can we not monetize our videos? We've gotten strikes before and we've resolved them. We are coming up on three weeks with no answer from YouTube whatsoever. And if you look on their site, it says that they respond in one business day. One business day now means three weeks. They forgot to tell you that, but we're letting you know this right now. And going! It could be even longer than this. So, uh... So, uh... <laughs> you think that YouTube, uh, which is owned by Google, should be able to answer questions in one working day? Mm-hmm. You're a small YouTube channel. Well, I'm smaller. Uh... And you think they're going to answer you in one working day? Fuck no. That's best estimate. This is for higher ranking YouTubers like Total Biscuit, uh, Max Mofo, people who actually have a million subscribers. You have less than a million subscribers. Why should they bother with you? They don't bother with me. I only have 261. I don't care that they don't bother with me. I'm glad that they let me use their technology 
to get my message across, which I do as fairly as I can. I break as few rules as I possibly can. And if I do, I admit to it. I don't complain and whinge about having broken a rule, such as I I did a, a first reaction video for Star Wars um, The Force Awakens. And I got copy uh, content ID flagged. I did not dispute that. I didn't care. Because frankly, it's owned by Disney. And they deserve every bit of revenue from my reaction. What that video is up there to do is to basically say, yes, I did a reaction to this. Thank you for watching it. You can watch more of my content. It's basically an opening for more content that you make. You seem to make content that it's basically... We review fucking movies. Badly. Okay, what if it is a strike? We can't get a clear answer, but we just want to clear as much as we can. So we tried to go through the traditional route. We tried to file the DMCA counterclaim, which you can do through YouTube. Every single time we did this, and we did this for like a couple days, we always got a server error. So then we had to contact YouTube to say, why are we getting a server error? This is a separate email from the one saying, why aren't we getting monetized? They sent us a form email, again, not able to talk to a person, and they said, oh, don't use that route, use these other means. So they're already acknowledging this route doesn't work, but whatever, we have other means. One was a link that we can't use because we have these limitations. So the same day we sent them an email, the manual way because they said that's one of the ways you can do it and we put down all the information they needed as well as overnighted a physical letter to them to make sure that this was getting to them because that was also a way they said would work. Both said we were missing information and we looked over it, we followed it to a T. Nothing was missing. So we had to think outside the box because clearly this is making no sense. So we had two managers on the YouTube account. So one logged in to do the way that we tried and then one of the other managers logged in. The other manager that logged in got a completely different form. Like 100% different. And to make things even better, they said that the characters, the amount of letters you can put in has to be 250. You can't go over that. So you have pretty much the length of a tweet to make your legal case about why you're in the right. So the counter DMCA notice is in effect after going through this incredibly broken system. But we have yet to talk to a human being and we're coming up on three weeks of getting no monetization, no money for any of the videos that we've put out. Right, I'm with a... MCN, which is a multi-channel network called Full Screen. They're very good to me. Uh, they give me a lot of tools, which I mm, sometimes use. But they're a way of basically telling you what to do and what not to do on YouTube. Uh, they're uh, basically a branch out to somebody who probably knows what's going on and how to sort it out. This is not what's happening for Doug Walker. He's gone the other route, which is basically go straight to YouTube. Uh, yeah, good fucking luck, you moron. Um, going to YouTube is like shouting in the sea. Nobody is going to fucking hear you. You are not a big channel. Nobody fucking cares and nobody will even fucking miss you. Why do I say that? Uh, you'll see. Past and present, all videos, we are making no money right now. The only way we've gotten any contact to YouTube like a human being at all is through contacts with other people. And even then, nobody has given us a straight answer. Nothing has been consistent. Nobody knows what's going on. Okay, so this is the part that concerns you. We have over 350,000 subscribers on YouTube. We've been around for years. So you've been around for years. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see if he's telling the truth, shall we? The cynical Brit, and uh, in other words, Total Biscuit, he's been around since 2006. Now that is what I call quite a few years. Jason Polara, a.k.a. Lord Cat, he has been around since... 2006 also many many years 
My good self, Thrawn One. It's been around since. Drum roll, please. Two thousand and six. Hmm. And he's been around since two thousand and fourteen. Wah, wah, wah. Lying little shit. Oh, and also, the awesomening. Fuck you and your pratty language. If this can happen to us with no explanation, no reason why, and weeks of no pay and no explaining any of it, what chance do people just putting up their family videos have? So you foolishly think that family videos contain Studio Ghibli or Ghibli content regularly? Yes, yes, they do, they do, yeah. Oh, for, for fuck's sakes, Dog Walker, get your fucking act together. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was the weirdest, fu- that was the stupidest fucking statement I've ever heard about copyright. Ever. What chance do people just starting off monetizing or trying to make a living or whatever have against this? Everything being done right now is done through the algorithm. There is no human being looking over any of this. And it seems like the only way to get attention and get them to do something is to escalate it. A lot of YouTubers are now making videos saying this has happened and we don't know why because they were trying to do the same thing. They were trying to go the professional route of trying to talk to YouTube, trying to get answers and none of them have been answered. Even the channels that were lucky enough to be put back, if the channel was deleted and put back or they weren't getting monetization, they were put back, YouTube has never explained what happened or what they can do to not have this happen in the future. Why should YouTube explain why it brought a channel back or why it's suspending it? It's got its own right to do what it is. We are using this service for free, in some cases, to make money, like myself. Not very much. I will admit that I am here on this, making YouTube to make money, and I make no bones about it. He does, though. He thinks, oh, I'm giving you a service. You should give me money for this. Fuck you, Doug Walker. You pretentious prick. That is scary. For years, we've put up with this idea that YouTube makes it where you're guilty until proven innocent. And that's not just, but at least they made it clear. These are the rules. These are what you have to do. And we didn't like following them. But it's still in the grand scheme of things a young business when you really look at it and so many changes are happening and studio heads are trying to bully them so they're making changes trying to figure it out fair enough but now nothing is making sense rules are just being made up and they're not being explained to us and this is for anybody not just big channels anyone could get taken down these rules and everything were put in place to stop people from running full movies and pirating stuff and fair enough that You need to do what you have to do. But now we're at a point where it's just abuse. Putting six minutes of actual Studio Ghibli footage on your YouTube channel is not abuse? Uh, Well, if you didn't monetize it, then yes, I'd say, okay, it's a fan work. It is a piece of fan work. If you do not monetize it, if they want to make monetization on it themselves, that's fine. That's well within their rights. That's great. If you are monetizing it and it is not your property, it is not your actual property, you do not own the images, you do not own Studio Ghibli work, you should not be making money off it. I think that's where the problem is, Doug. Oh, and really? Fucking really?
people are not looking at these anymore. I mean, they haven't looked at them for a while, but now they're not even following their own rules. If you have any videos on YouTube right now, make sure they're backed up. Make sure you have them somewhere on your computer because they can disappear at any point and they don't have to tell you why. You know, it, it, companies make mistakes and it's fine. I mean, we're a company, we make mistakes, everybody does. But when you're doing this and you're not doing anything to change it and you're not explaining why, you're pretty much letting everybody know this is how we do things, and this is right, this is just, we can do whatever we want. If we want to get rid of someone just showing their family movies and we don't have to explain why, we can do it now, and it's totally okay. If we want to take someone who's making a living now on YouTube, as many people are, and get rid of it, and get rid of their monetization, or just destroy their entire channel, it is totally fine with them, and they don't have to tell you why. So. That's the reason you haven't seen many Steven Universe vlogs or bum reviews, uh, because we've been busy with this. We've gone almost three weeks with no pay for any of our videos. And it And long may that continue. Frankly, it's disgusting that he gets paid for showing pretty much whole clips of videos of basic movies with some crappy commentary over it and he gets paid uh i've seen anime music videos anime uh film music videos marvel music videos every single one of these things that put effort into their fucking work and can't make fucking money and this dipshit thinks he has the right to make money Fuck you, you have no talent. I have more talent in my dick than you have in your entire body. Okay, I'm, I've got to admit, my dick is extremely large. Alright, I, I couldn't resist it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put it this way. One of my hairs off my beard has more talent than you, Doug Walker. Just give it up. You were a king on Blip. That's where you should have lived and stayed. As Blip's dead, give it up. Just fucking give it up. You're not funny anymore. I used to like you, but you're a fucking douche. My opinion, until we get monetization back on this channel and these other channels, or channels have been deleted or put back, or at least given an explanation or just anything, it's pretty much saying YouTube can do whatever it wants and we're okay with it. Just as we make money off of YouTube, YouTube makes money off of us. We were in a situation we were forced to accept and we accepted it because the rules were in place and they seemed to follow it, but now they're not even following their own rules. You're complaining to YouTube because they don't follow their own rules and you get don't get paid. <gasps> oh dear! Well, I hardly get paid at all by YouTube. I've only had two payments from them. I'm not a big channel. I admit that. You're a big channel, and I don't fucking know why. You're a fucking prat. But let's let's give it some thought, shall we? Servers, storage, infrastructure, um, what else? Uh, algorithms uh promotions youtube video apps youtube has to pay for all that and you have to pay nothing literally nothing not even a british penny uh, not even a british 2p coin you don't have to pay that to watch a youtube video you might have to watch an advert but you have to pay approximately dick to upload anything. And you complain, Doug Walker? From a small channel, and from all small channels who are trying to grow. <laughs> Sit on it and fucking swivel, you maniac. YouTube support is non-existent right now. 
Right now, you need to be very cautious. We can't say how, because even we don't know how, but you need to be very careful. And here's the thing. Any, anyone can change. They can come around and they can say, hey, this mistake happened, we're fixing it, and we're on top of it. I mean, anything, or here's the new rules and we'll do our best to follow it. We've been changing our content a lot in order to fit YouTube's rules. And even doing that now hasn't worked. But we're not told why, because we're not even told what the rules are anymore. YouTube's system is not only broken, but it's made to be abused. So we're still going to do Nostalgia Critic videos because we know you guys really want to see those. Even though we're making nothing on them right now, we're still going to do them. Uh, but stuff like the Steven Universes and the Bum Reviews and the Real Thoughts and stuff, we got to hold off until we figure this out, until we're allowed to make a living again. YouTube's system right now is run on automation. Everything from small complaints to stuff that can shut a channel down. No human being is looking at them until it's escalated. So that's why we're forced to talk about this. Like I said, there's a whole mountain of other issues that's going on with YouTube that we can't talk about here because we only have 15 minutes. We just want to keep this focused and give you guys fair warning what is going on with YouTube right now and how your channel is at risk. So hopefully this gets resolved, hopefully YouTube wakes up and starts treating people and channels fair and just again because their livelihoods are depending on it now. Hang on. Hang on. Um, you really think that YouTube cares at all that people are... It's a privilege to make money on this platform. You were not hired by YouTube to make money. You were not hired by Google. It is a right. It's it's a privilege to be on YouTube. And some people, like you, I think the sooner you get off this site, the fucking better. I'm sorry, but you're a fucking maniac. If you think that putting six minutes of a fucking movie unedited unaltered just with your crappy commentary over it and some probably music from the fucking film on on it as well and you think that you deserve youtube needs to change its rules so it can fit your image if that happens i'm going off youtube the best youtubers play by the rules and know how to play within the rules max mofo how to basic total biscuit lord cat these people play within the rules and get shit done that is excellent quality it's worthy of a watch your shit i used to watch it when i used to start watching making uh, when i started making videos and then I found out there are a lot of people, a lot of people better at making videos than you, including myself. Uh, my third video, I found out I was better at making videos than you. You self-pretentious little shit. Oh, and you can't just wait weeks and weeks with no answer when... People are now depending on this to make a living. We're going to have links below to other channels that are going through similar issues right now because there's quite a few. We hope that this gets resolved. We hope that so many of these problems that are going on with YouTube get fixed. But as of now, we are forced to deal with a broken system and this is the best that we can do. This is the best we're allowed to do. So guys, that's about it. Just an explanation of what's going on and uh, just be cautious. Be very, very cautious. Back up all your videos if you have them on YouTube and just be very, very careful. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. I rarely go after bigger YouTubers. And I feel that some people go after bigger YouTubers because they're jealous. I'm not jealous of you. I'm making my own content. Your content is shit. Pure and utter shit. I'm sorry, but you were funny ten years ago. That's a long... You were funny... Or was it... 2016... Yeah, you were funny 10 years ago. 2006, I think. 
I don't know. You were funny a long time ago. You're not funny now. Just give it the fuck up. Get a real job. All right, because you're not funny. Thank you for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you found it entertaining. If you did, please slap a subscribe on it if you're not already and slap a like on it. I do gaming videos, but sometimes I do rants like this because something pisses me the fuck off. And yes, I do swear a lot. You're going to see that in my gaming streams and other things. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.